So, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're having a great time at the conference. I'm Giga Schmerzer and I'm going to present you the parasitics in current reference oscillator. So, we will briefly go to the motivation, equipment, and MOSFET characteristics, then talk about uh, oscillator topology and parasitics, and end with improved topology and some final thoughts. So, uh, oscillator performance defines the AD performance, and since AD converters are indispensable elements nowadays, it makes sense to create a high high quality integrated oscillator because it simplifies the design, lowers the cost, uses less PCB space, and offers better reliability. So uh, the research was done in XFAP 350 nanometer technology and in virtuoso ID uh, development uh, environment. So let's look at the MOSFET resistance. The MOSFET resistance is caused by the channel resistance and some uh, leakage resistance to the substrate. And this causes, uh, uh, even when the transistor is fully open, some uh, slope, and it can be even few millivolts uh, voltage drop uh, at low uh, currents. Then we have the parasitic of capacitance. The capacitance come from all connections and also to the substrate and also some from source to drain. And here uh, it's the main problem is that the capacitance change uh, regarding the applied voltage on the connections. The last uh, important characteristic is current mirroring capability. We found out that the best uh, mirroring capability is offered by basic cascode mirror. And, and so we, we strive to use the cascode mirrors in our design. So now we'll go to the topologies. The first, this more simple topology is uh, double inverter uh, topology with resistor and capacitor. It's also called a simple relaxation oscillator. Now we usually want to uh, remove the need of uh, resistance in our circuits. So we can replace the resistor with current uh, and a mirror, cur current mirror and a Schmidt trigger. And uh, we can even, but we still have a problem of threshold voltage of MOSFET transistor. So. We, we want to also uh, get rid of uh, the Schmidt trigger. This we can do with the usage of comparators, but now we introduce different types of parasitics, such as four uh, switches, uh, current mirrors, uh, offset and input capacitance of comparators, and at least five uh, propagation delays. The Topology schematics of such circuit is shown here, and for five volt supply voltage, uh, 1.66 volt comparator window, uh, one picofarad reference capacitor, and one microamp uh, current, we get, we should ideally get the period frequency of 3.33 microseconds, but simulation show as other. Uh, results, it is four and a half mi micro, uh, and, uh, microseconds, which is more than 35% increase, despite having extremely unrealistic uh, temperature coefficient. So, where does this discrepancy come from? The first parasitic is current comes from current mirror. We fix the, the, the characteris this characteristic by using a uh, cascode and uh, long uh, transistor channels. And there we have also parasitic of on-off transition and was used, uh, was fixed by using additional switches. The remaining parasitic are the high-low side current mirror mismatch, which can be seen here. The characteristic of current PMOS and NMOS current mirrors are different, of course. Then we have the second parasitic coming from the current switches that control the current flow to and from the reference capacitor. Um, here we introduce additional capacitance to our reference node, which is unwanted, and this capacitance is also dependent on drain gate 
uh, bulk uh, voltage and this also distorts our charging and discharging current on our capacitor. The third uh, parasitic comes from the comparator. The comparator was speeded up by using a PMOS similar uh, input amplifier. Then the offset was uh, made as low as possible using big uh, transistors uh, or white transistors in the input and the temperature coefficient of reference voltage was uh, limited or uh, lowered by using resistor divider. Uh, but here now we see that remaining parasitics are many, uh, mainly due to the input differential stage because it has, uh, because of the big size, it has big capacitance, uh, the currents are not symmetrical and the voltage fits through, is causing the signal coming from minus to plus uh, uh, or to our reference voltage. And if we see now the result, the, cap uh, the charging and the, char the voltage on the reference, volt uh, reference capacitor uh, overshoots by more than 170 millivolts and also the current uh, is distorted. The current is distorted due to the switches at the beginning of charging cycle. Then we have the current mirror distortion and at the end we have also be, uh, the distortion because of the change in capacitance of the input stage. All of this causes the offset of minus 170 nano amperes. The last uh, parasitic is a propagation delay. The propagation delay, uh, I divided in, in four, uh, four uh, stages. So the first one is caused by comparator and it's in a range of 92 nanoseconds. Then we have a 2.3 nanosecond delay caused by the latch. The logic causes the least amount of delay. It's one nanosecond and then we have 40 nanoseconds for switches. So again, we see that the comparator is the worst performing uh, component in the chain. So now let's think how we can improve our topology. Instead of charging and discharging, we can only charge the capacitor, but then we introduce some uh, discharging delay of the capacitor which can be improved then by using two capacitors and then we get rid of the discharging stage and we only charge the capacitors. This design also simplifies the amount of uh, stray capacitance on the reference well, uh, nodes and has also many uh, other advantages such as single voltage reference. It's only needed a single voltage reference the, it's symmetrical and has low parasitic capacitance. But still, we have a problem that it requires a good comparator. So, sh we should strive in our designs for low parasitic, for low parasitic, uh, low parasitics by using, uh, by taking into account MOSFET capacitances, resistances, and also temperature coefficients, and the comparator are the main elements defining the performance of current reference oscillator. And to conclude, just to see, the ideal version uh, has a period of 3.33 microseconds, the measure had four and a half, and now if we would use ideal, only ideal uh, comparators, we would have an error of only 63 nanoseconds. With this, I'd like to thank you for your attention. So. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Giga. Uh, time for questions. Okay. Get back to you. <laughs> uh, can you uh, repeat once more why did you remove the Schmidt trigger from the from uh, the circuit? Okay. Now uh, the Schmidt trigger the where it uh, where it uh, changes the output is dependent on the MOSFET threshold voltage. We all know the MOSFET threshold voltage is not uh, a reference. You cannot say 
that it's one volt. It's it's very uh, dependent on the conditions, on the size of transistors, and even in the packaging process stage, you can smash the integrated silicon and you change the value of the threshold voltage. That's why you do, if you want to get in PPM range of uh, stability of the oscillators, you don't want to use uh, the, the Schmidt triggers, or not the Schmidt triggers, the CMOS Schmidt trigger to control your switching point. Thank you. Giga, one question related to the comparators. You said that the comparator defined the performance. Yes. So, any hints how you could improve the performances of the comparators? Uh, yes, I have hints. I also have uh, the designs in plan, but will be published later. Oh, so that's for the uh, future so work. This is, uh, yeah, <laughs> something to look for. But if we take a look, uh, oh. oh, yes, here. Uh, one problem is the, 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 the transistors are extremely big. The easiest way to fix the problem w would be to use the smallest transistors. That would be the first. And then we would, I, I think it's, uh, this capacitance is maybe 200, femtofarads, uh, so if we would use the smallest, sma uh, the smallest size is uh, 0 0.6 through 0.6 micro uh, meters, um, we would limit it to the capacitance showed in the first or second slide, which was around 2 femtofarads, so 100 times uh, <sighs> decrease. But if we would use the smallest, uh, transistors, then we have problem of offset. Yeah. So it's a trade-off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a trade-off. But we we should think about this point here. Yeah, so there are solutions <laughs> in yeah. the making. Okay, uh, thanks again, Giga. Okay. Thank you all.